Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the basics of inequalities. Now, an inequality is a comparison between two values, numbers or expressions, that are not equal. But sometimes there is a possibility of the values being equal depending on which inequality symbol is being used. You'll see exactly what I mean as we go through our examples. The five symbols used to represent inequalities are not equal, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, and then less than or equal to. So let's jump into number one, where we will take a look at what all these symbols actually mean. And we'll start with x equals 10, which is not an inequality. It's an equation. So x equals 10. This is an equation. Now there's only one solution for this equation. x has to equal 10. No other solutions will make this equation true. For example, if we were to plug in x equals 9, well, let's put a 9 here. Would 9 equal 10? No. The only thing that x can equal is 10. 10 equals 10. So I wanted to include an equation so we could uh, compare this to the inequalities. Now for number 2, we have x is greater than 10. Now remember, you always want the wider side, the open wider side of an inequality symbol facing um, the greater value. So x is greater than 10 here. So any number greater than 10 would be a solution for that inequality. There's an infinite amount of correct solutions. So for example, 11 would work, 50 would work, or 150, it doesn't matter. Anything greater than 10 would be a solution for x for that inequality. Now 10 would not be a solution because x has to be greater than 10. Is 10 greater than 10? No. Now the third inequality down right here is x is greater than or equal to 10. So all of those solutions we talked about for x is greater than 10, 11, 50, 150, anything greater than 10 would be a correct solution, just like the one above. But this one, 10 is a correct solution as well. So 10 would work for this because 10 is greater than or equal to 10. So when we talked about the possibility of the values being equal, when we have that or equal to, we can have an equal solution there um, to the given value. So just to recap, these two inequalities right here, any number greater than 10 would be a correct solution. But they differ because the bottom one here, 10 is included in the correct solutions because we have x is greater than or equal to 10. So let's move on to this inequality right here where we have x is less than 10. So any value less than 10 would be a correct solution. So 1, 2, 8, negative 8, whatever the case may be. Again, we have infinite uh, solutions to that inequality. Now 10 would not be a correct solution. 10 is not less than 10. But for this inequality here, we have x is less than or equal to 10. So 10 would work for this one, uh, but not the top one. So you can see the difference between the less than sign, x is less than 10, and then the um, x is less than or equal to 10. So again, these two inequalities right here any value less than 10 would be a solution, but the less than or equal to, we can include 10 in those solutions. And then lastly, we have x is not equal to 10. So any value that's not 10 would be correct there. So 8, 9, negative 20, whatever the case may be, 
the only incorrect solution would be if we were to put 10 in there. Is 10 not equal to 10? No, that doesn't make sense. So any value other than 10 would work for that last inequality. So let's jump over to numbers 2, 3, and 4 and um, come up with some correct solutions to those inequalities. So number 2, we have 7 is less than j. So any value greater than 7 there because j, um, that side, has to be greater than 7. So anything greater than 7 would work. So we could do 8, uh, 52, or 100. Again, an infinite amount of solutions there. So anything greater than 7 would work. Now 7 is not included because that is just a less than sign. It's not an or equal to. Now number 3, we have 11 is greater than or equal to a. So for a, solutions could include anything less than or equal to 11. So 11 would be a solution because we have or equal to. And then anything less than 11. So it could be negative 1 or uh, let's do 3. So infinite amount of solutions, anything less than 11 or equal to 11 would work there. And lastly, number 4, we have y is less than 5. So this is just a less than sign. So 5 is not included in the solutions. So anything less than 5. So we could do negative 9, uh, 0, or 1. And then that list goes on forever because we have an infinite amount of solutions for uh, values that are less than 5. So there you have it. There are the basics of inequalities and what those symbols mean. I do have other videos um, expanding on uh, the topic of inequalities. I'll drop all of those links down in the description. So I hope this helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.